Hi, today we are going to make a spicy mango pulp which can be used in winter or rainy season to mix into rice to make it into mango rice. So I have taken uh, raw mangoes, whichever are uh, ripe and even little riper mangoes I am avoiding so that we don't, we, can, we don't get that sweetness in our uh, puree and finally in the mango rice. So I am peeling the skin of the mangoes. Always remember to, to soak either ripe or raw mangoes in water for at least half an hour before consuming. Do not consume them without soaking. So, so I have peeled the skin of the mangoes. These are raw mangoes. These are from my garden. Uh, and I am grating them. I will grate all the mangoes. I finished grating them. Now I will put them in a pan. Put a little salt and few green chilies and fry them. I have leave them to just eat it like that because they are little yellow. I doubt if they are sweet. So I am avoiding these mangoes. Let us make these into the mango pulp and uh, mix it in the rice. I have taken few uh, green chilies to mix and fry in the mangoes. I am cutting into pieces. I have put a pan, I am putting little oil, after it gets heated up, I am adding the chilies. After the chilies gets fried, I add, add the mango pulp. Reduce the flame. Chilies are nicely fried. Now add the mango grated. Add salt accordingly. Okay. I am adding 4 spoons of salt. And mix it thoroughly. Let it cook for a while. Add some turmeric. Mix it well. Keep a lid and let it cook for a while. Take out the lid in between and mix it, mix it again. Make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan. Close the lid. So this is the consistency. You are done with the cooking. You can off the flame. I am putting this spicy mango pulp 
into a glass jar when it is hot itself to increase the shelf life of the mango pulp. Even when you do jams, you do it the same way but you add sugar instead of uh, mirchi. So even while doing jams, we need to store this in a, when it is hot in a, a glass jar to increase the shelf life. So this way it increases. Take little rice, put the mango pulp into the rice, put as much as you need, mix it nicely, see the taste of the mango pulp, if you feel you need to add salt, you can add it. Put tadaka in this, put some oil, mustard seeds, jeera, one or two chilies, fry it little and put it on the rice. Then your mango rice will be ready. Heat the pan, put little oil. After it gets heated up, put little mustard seeds, let them sparkle. Then put little cumin seeds, then put urad dal, then chana dal, few curry leaves, I have curry, dried curry leaves. one chili one green chili mix it properly if you want you can put a soap it in here or change Once you are done making the seasoning, put it in the rice. Give it a nice mix. You are ready to eat.